Hey, Michelle. Hi, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good, and you? Not bad, thanks. Great. Right now, I'm driving because I'm returning home from from letting my, my daughter at school. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I can tell you're driving. Hey, that's nice. You um, you have the chance to take your daughter to school. Yeah, yeah, that's one of the um, of the advantages of working at a plow dog. Is yeah. that yeah, yeah, I I can drop her drop her at school, and I don't know, going back home or driving to the office or any anywhere else. So I can, uh, and I can connect and work. Yeah, I also take my son to school. Um, I think that's one of the best um, things I can have in my work. Because um, most of us, most of the people in our country can't. Yeah. So. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay, well, drive safe. Um, we're going to wait for the rest of the people to join. Thanks. Great. Yep. I'll be right here. Okay. Um, it's seven o'clock. I'm just going to wait one or two minutes most. Great. Uh, you know, this is my first time in my life that I'm taking English classes since, since school. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, um, that, um, and, and how long back is that? I graduated back in 2007, so it's been, <laughs> <laughs> let me see, I don't know, uh, maybe, <gasps> no, wait, like 15 years. Is it years? more? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know, like 15 years back. But, but then, um, yeah, this is my first time. Okay, well, welcome again. <laughs> Thanks. Um, wh where did you study English? At Escuela, at Escuela Bilingüe Tazumal. Oh, okay. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> that that yeah, makes a lot, a, of, a lot of sense do, now. Do you, know, do you know someone from there? Um, no, not, not really, but I, but I passed by that school and... Um, and then I, I know it's bilingual, so if you graduated from there, um, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the thing is that... Yeah? Um, whenever you, you don't practice it, you, you start, like, forgetting it. Oh, yeah. But yeah. Uh, still, I, I, I've had some chances to practice it. Nice, nice, like nice. At work, not every day. It's not a daily thing, but it's almost a daily right. thing. It's it's really frequent. It's like and when you are learning. That, but in my last job, it's like when you're learning. Um, also, um. Uh, bicycle right so if you don't practice then it's not that you will forget it but but then you need to practice again <laughs> sorry I'm, I'm going where which i have a signal oh okay um it's like when you learn how to you know ride the bicycle um if you if you don't continue um then it's not that you will forget it but you We'll need to practice again, and then in a matter of one or two rides again, then you're back on track. I think I lost her again. Hey, welcome, um, Jorge and Oscar. Hey, good morning. 
Good morning. How are you? We're good morning. Doing great. And you? Nice. I'm glad to hear that you guys are doing great on a Monday morning. <laughs> <laughs> I I um I did some running today in the morning, so I went um jogging. I'm not a you know, I'm not a fitness person. But I do like to go out in the morning and do some jogging or run like 15, 20 minutes. Um, and and the, there is a park near my neighborhood, and which is very good. Um, I love it because there are a lot of trees. Um, and, and, and I think having that feeling in the morning, especially on Monday morning, is good. Um, I don't understand why people would be like, oh, man, Monday again, really? <laughs> um, I, I try to stay away from them. Hector. Great. Yeah, welcome, Hector. Yeah, it is very great. Um, I think I'm going to have like uh, five people. Um in total um is that is that it um hi i'm back again yeah i think so <laughs> I, mean, I don't know if you if you would like to <laughs> welcome back <laughs> michelle <laughs> thanks yeah um hey brian welcome um hey i think it's only five or six um in your group correct we're like I remember we're like I don't know like 12 people but I don't know beginning. if everyone will, will be able to join okay because I only well at least, in, at least in the whatsapp group I only have um three five oh well there's more um eight ten maybe ten. like nine <laughs> okay okay that's good then um, all right, so that's nice. Well, I'm going to get started with um, a little bit of info that we're going to be covering during this um, course. Um, <clears throat> I want to I, I wanna thank you for, you know, connecting on time. That, that's really great and shows that um, profession, professionalism that you have and also the commitment, especially, that you have uh, with yourself. Not with us, not with me, but with yourself, because um, if you were instructed or if you were told to take these classes, so then um, we have to take them. Um, I promise I'm going to try to make this as, as, you know, not boring, because that's not the point. It's only one hour, so um, I don't want to bore you guys at all. Um, I know that um well it's the first time I, I i meet you over the camera or zoom but um i've heard that you guys already speak english very well um it's only a matter of getting more vocabulary or or you know english already but you have not practiced as michelle was saying but then it's the time to practice I think during this month, during these four weeks, we're going to have the time to speak a lot. And um, um, you you know English already, but, but perhaps you don't practice it much. So this is going to be your time to practice, to practice and to, um, you know, uh, go through a little bit of vocabulary from work right now. So I think that's a good, um, that's going to be a good practice for you. Um, right now, because it's the first, um, session, I'm going to call this sessions. I'm not going to call it class because class is when I teach you something, uh, especially English, but right now it's going to be a session for us because we're going to be, um, uh, conversating. Um, but, um, in this first session, I'm going to be, I'm going to be talking at least for the first half hour because there are some important aspects that I need to go over with you. But then but then the rest of the half hour and, and the rest of the sessions or classes is going to be you. I'm, I'm, I'm going to let you talk more because that's the point. Okay. 
Does that make sense? Totally. Yay. All righty. Formally, I want to welcome you. <laughs> um, I see that um, Benjamin just joined. Welcome, and thank you for having your camera on. Hey, good morning. Hey, Ben. How are you? I'm doing good. Nice. Are you enjoying enjoying your Monday morning? Um, not yet. I'm still missing the cup of coffee. <laughs> You know what? I was um I was gonna get my coffee done today in the morning, but I I'm trying to quit coffee, so I I had a glass of water, and but I was dying for coffee, and I was like, oh man, doesn't work the same, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, it's not the same at all. Um, um, but you know why I I quit? Um, or I'm almost done with quitting coffee. It's because. In the past, if I didn't have my cup of coffee, I would get a headache. And I and sometimes I couldn't, you know, um, get a cup of coffee either because I was working already or I was doing something else. And then I would be with headaches all the time. So that's why I said one day, it's been like three months already. And that's what I said. You know what? I'm going to stop drinking coffee because this can't be happening. And so... It works now for me. <laughs> yeah, that's my well, life story. <laughs> well, at least I'm not getting headaches anymore, so that's good. That's a good, um, you know, step. Okay, so um, um, I wanted to welcome, like, formally, um, to this course. Um, my name is Jairo Campos. Um, um I'm gonna be your, um, your lead for this um, coming month, four weeks. And there are a couple of things that I would like to go over with you before we start, you know, diving um, into the business. So uh, just uh, like a refresher for you, uh, this is going to be our schedule from Monday to Friday uh, from 7 a.m. to 8 in the morning. So 7 to 8 in the morning, we'll be meeting every single day that means monday to friday uh which i think that was your uh, previous schedule with the other um professor or teacher right no it was at night from 7 oh. to 8 p.m oh was it at night oh so you guys are waking up a little bit earlier now a little bit <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, that's good. Having classes in the morning is good as well. Because then when you're finished work, uh, you know, I, I, well, I, at least me, I think I prefer. And you know what? All, also studies show that uh, your brain is is more, you know, it, it grasps more info in the morning than in the afternoon or night, especially when you're when you worked the whole day. Well, that's good then. Um, so we're going to be from 7 to 8. Now, house rules. House rules. I have it empty. You know why I have it empty? We're going, going to create it. <laughs> yep. We're going to create it right now. Hey, this is going crazy. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're going to create it now because uh, this is not... This is not for me to do. This is for us together to do, you know? And um, you know more than me about what how rules we can have. <clears throat> Let me do it here. Okay, so what house rule do you think we can have here in this room? I'll, I'll need each one of you to provide me one. So Ben, Michelle, Oscar, Hector, Brian, you guys get me one. What about respect Hi. others? Yeah, the, that's the one that I was going to say. Come again. 
Yeah, respect. Oh, respect. Oh, I love that one. Respect to each other. What do you mean by respect to each other? What do you guys mean by that? Like not not making fun of of the other one if if someone gets stuck or like eh, no yeah like not making fun. Pretty much, eh? Yeah, um, we're not in high school anymore. <laughs> Yeah, so we're not in high school anymore, so we're all adults, and um, I think that's a, that's a key, right? Um, respect to each other. Um, nobody laughed here at the other person, because the, if, you, if you know English a lot, if you're fluent, you know, your fluency is, is very good. Um, if you're very fluent, if your grammar is also good, if your accent as well is good, um, then that's cool. That's good, right? Um, perfect. We appreciate that and that's good. Um, but that doesn't give you the chance to make fun of someone else, right? Actually, I was gonna, I was gonna, if you, if you know a lot, if you, like if you feel like I shouldn't even be here in this lesson because the, my English is good. I know a lot, so um, we're we're gonna take that as an asset, as an advantage because we are going to help others. Okay, I'm not gonna be here. I'm uh, I am going to join to each one of the sessions, not from not because of me, but because of my partners. I know that some of them need help, and I. I'll be helping them, okay? So that's, that's going to be your role and responsibility from, from this course on, at least when you're with me, right? Um, but, I, but I need you to set your mind that way, okay? Um, I'm going to repeat that again because this is important. So I, I need you to set your mind that if you believe that your English is very good, your accent is awesome, um, your grammar is perfect and you know you don't need to be in this class or session. I need you to set in your mind that the reason why you're gonna join in this class is because uh, you're gonna help others. okay you're gonna help the rest of your partners either when you're here in the in this main room or when we are in the breakout rooms, okay? Good. Um, so what's the second? Record every every class. Record, um, yeah. So I'm recording the class. Yeah, let's say record every class. That's good. What else? Um, be on time. Yes. Connect. Connect on time what's another synonym of connect on time join join i like that one better yes join on time to the class yep i think it's needless to say that you guys need to connect on time hey but these these are sessions right so maybe record every session join on time to the sessions <laughs> yeah so yeah that's right i think they, they they both go together right join join on time to the class please 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 respect that that you know that schedule uh i know sometimes it's hard to wake up in the morning like we don't want to you know get out of bed um but um but please 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 do connect on time please what's the other And listen and follow directions. Yeah. Um, listen and follow directions. Mm -hmm. So listen, I would do pay attention at all times, right? And follow directions. That's good. Uh, maybe two more.
Ben? I was thinking that probably if you want to interrupt, raise your hand. But if you want um, to speak. yeah, I think I think that's a good practice. If it's with me, um, I'm okay. But if it's with your partner, I think, or you know, um, but but yeah, um, raise your hand. Um, is that the spelling for race? I think so. Oh no, it's I was I. missing the a the a. No, I was missing the A. <laughs> Raise your hand. Yeah. Raise your hand. I think it's, it's, it's a good practice because sometimes we have an idea going on in our head and we're speaking and talking and then somebody interrupts us or doesn't let us uh, finish the idea. So then, then you're like, oh, so we call that break the momentum. Um, sometimes when we're we're excited speaking about something and then somebody somebody cut us off. So then that's when we forget the other ideas and we're like, oh man, I forgot. Yeah. Maybe one more. I have one which I think is 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 the most important one of all. But um but you tell me one more. Complete the platform. Oh yeah, complete the platform. Which I'm gonna get to that in in a bit. This will be more for um, like tasks you guys need to do, right? But house rules is more like, um, you know, um like things you guys need to do or I need to do or we need to do as a team. And um, and that's what I was gonna get. Um, teamwork. Teamwork. What, what do you think uh, or how do you think it applies to us here in this session? If I say teamwork, we need to work as a teamwork here in this session, how does it apply? Or in what sense? Um, I think that we, this is a collaborative um, learning, uh, I, I think so, um, something like that, right? We have to help each other as the same of the first one, help or respect to each other, we have to help to each other. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Thank you, Jorge. Um, who else has a different? Um... Kri -kri. Oscar, Michelle, Hector, Brian, Ben. I think it's pretty much pretty much the same, right? That we need to help each other. Um, whenever someone needs some help, uh, we can step in and, and, and help them. Agree. Agree. That's good. Um, could I have an example, please? What would be an example? Uh, on an activity, in, when we were going to be creating a presentation or something like that, uh, we have to, to work, uh, uh, collaborative work on the creation, right? Uh, and also in the presentation. And also when we are in the breakup rooms, uh, if I am missing some pronunciation of some mm -hmm. of something, um, yeah. any other cool uh, help me with the pronunciation, right? Great. Cool pronunciation. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, especially in breakout rooms, right? Um, when you are working together as a team in the breakout room or in pairs, um, if you are 
you know, struggling with something, you can, you know, that's because you need assistance. And, and, the, and if the other person is the one struggling, that means that you are there to help and you need to, to help that person. So um, I know we've been doing it, but, um, you know, if we can push a little bit more and do it a little bit more, I think that's going to be good. And, and in the end, the idea is for all of us to be on the same page. If I'm if I'm good at English, if I have a good pronunciation, if I'm fluent, if I have a very good grammar, so then my peers have to be at the same level as me, or or close, right? But you know there shouldn't be a, a huge gap between you. Okay, um, that's good. Um, I'm gonna continue. Um, I know I know you guys know this um ignore ignore these names here this is not you okay um what i want to focus on is this one okay so there are four weeks of sessions or classes so it's one of the weeks we are going to have an activity which is going to be speaking most of the time uh, most of the activities uh, that I'll be doing with you it will be speaking. So week number one, that's homework one, that's speaking one. Week two, three, and four, each one of them is 2.5%. Uh, then there is a final task, which is going to be in the speaking activity as well. And then, of course, the platform. Okay, we do want you to work in the platform. It's, it's mandatory. And for you to complete the 100% of the platform. It's not hard. It's not difficult. It's, it's just um, uh, very small exercises that you need to do daily. All right. Cool. Um, questions about this? Mm, no. Nope. Okay. Let's move. Okay. Um, are you guys familiar with this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, needless to um, go over this, but um, so this is the evaluation score card that we use um, when we are doing a speaking activity. So basically, we um, give you the chance because this is important for you to know, like, like how you know, you know how good you are in each one of these um, particular um, options or skills, right? So the mastery, the fluency, the grammar, the vocabulary, the pronunciation, and then of course, if we have comments in the end, we give you the comments. Um, but here we give you like if it was poor. If it was fair, if it was good, right? Oh, it was good, right? Or if it was fair, it's like, um, I mean, there were some um, um, things, areas of opportunity, but yeah. Uh, then, you know, good, I already mentioned if it was very good, it was like, oh, that was good. Uh, and then of course, if it was excellent, that's because you went the beyond, right? So you did the extra mile, so. So that's, that's good, like briefly, right? Um, then, uh, well, this is the same. This is for the final um, evaluation and uh, it's, it's pretty much the same. Briefly, um, I'm almost done with this so we can get into the topics. But briefly, I'm gonna, I want to go over with the topics so you so you guys see how interesting these topics are going to be. Um, so you guys are in advance too now of, of English for Business. And in unit number one, we will be going over English for meetings. Okay, so in class one, which is today's class, we are going to learn like what are the important items or tips or um, aspects to take into consideration when preparing a presentation here. Um, meeting key terms, begin, how to open a meeting, giving or responding opinions. Uh, week two, which is gonna be next week, how to interrupt a meeting, 
speaking, asking questions, speaking again, close the meeting. So these are some of the topics that we'll be covering for uh, this course. And we also have this for this third and fourth week, which is going to be talking about jobs as well. I'm trying to get these. Okay. Um, talking about jobs, talking about relationships, not relationships with your boyfriend, girlfriend, but relationships at work. Um, talking about your interests in sport. Okay, so as you can see, there are a lot of topics here that are very important and are related to business. And we're going to um, deep dive into each one of them. And of course, class 19 and 20, it will be for the final evaluation, which is a presentation you guys need to do. I think for us, it's going to be, well, if we're, we're like nine or 10 people, yeah, it's going to be uh, night, class 19 and 20. Um, yeah, I th think, I believe that's pretty much it. Any concern, questions? about um, this i didn't see the the topics because well for me it's freeze in the did you guys see the topics speaking. or was it just george i saw them oh you saw them yeah okay okay so then me. um it, it's gotta be your um your internet or computer george All right. Um, all right. Okay. So that's a that that was um. Sorry, I took like you know a couple of minutes. Um, but um, but, but I think that's important. It's important for you to know like what we, what we are into right now. Okay, what we're gonna be studying. Right. Um. We do have a topic for today, but of course, um, we need to get to know each other as well. That was more for the academical part. Um, but now if we're talking about us, like I, I do want to get to know you. Maybe not, you know, you you will share your life right now, but take a 30 seconds, one minute talk to, you know, so you guys let me know who you are. What do you like to do? What are your plans in life? Um you know, anything that you consider is important to share, you guys are welcome. I'm going to start. Um, I, there's a lot I would, <laughs> there's a lot I would like to share. <laughs> um, I, I graduated um, uh, in, in education back in 2016. But I've been but I've been teaching English since um, 2010, um, so it's been a couple of years now. So, so you guys are in good hands. Um, I'm from Santa Ana. I I have a, a three and a half year old boy. Um, I'm a happy father. Um, I I thought I was in love before, but I. I, I definitely fall in love when I met my son. Um, yeah, I am. So I love him. Um, I worked for Talas International. Um, I'm a trainer there. Not a not a physical trainer because because I'm not. <laughs> but uh, I'm a trainer, uh, which is for um, you know whoever is new, I train them like you know whatever they gotta do in the, in the company. So I work for Talas International and I work for Speak, delivering classes, which is something that I love. Being in front of the camera, being in front of the students is something that I that I've enjoyed my whole life. If if there's something that I gotta thank God, it's because I I I made a good decision when picking my my major. Or the, what I, whatever I was going to study in the university, I was like, oh, should I study law? Should I study psychology? Should, should I study medicine? 
or should I study education? I was, and in the end, I was close to uh, medicine and then education. But of course, the, um, uh, being a doctor in that career is, is, I mean, not the career, but the major is very expensive. So I said, no, let's go to the education part. And um, two years after, well, when I was studying education, I was in love. I was already in love with, uh, you know, education. Um, and that's something that I've been doing for, I don't know, <laughs> quite some time already. So since 2010. And um, I enjoy, I've enjoyed every single minute of it. So that's good. Um, that's it. <laughs> oh, I have a motorcycle. I like to ride motorcycle. Yeah. That's it. Michelle, you're in the office or home? Home. I'm, I'm finally, finally back home. <laughs> I'm Let's get starting the turning on the computer. And, <laughs> Let's get well welcome. Hey, nice to see you. nice to meet you over the camera. Thank you, thank you. Well, I wanted to share. Yeah. Uh, well, my name is Michelle Fariñas. Um well, I'm working at a Plaudo, of course. <laughs> this is this is Hey, what's a Plaudo? Can you tell me? Or or after you're done, because uh, I do wanna hear. Okay. Sorry, hey, I cut you off. Okay, great, great. And I'm breaking I'm the rules. Help. I'm going to ask help to, to answer that question. I'm going to ask help from my peers. Uh, because, yeah, Plaudo, I'm going to tell. Plaudo is, is uh, uh, a technological enterprise, like the most, um, yeah, it's famous, I know. But it's also very efficient and one of the most important tech companies in in the region we we were born here in as at el salvador like we we started with 15 people around 15 people and now mm -hmm. we are more than 650 people here wow and we do tech we 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 develop websites and we develop um apps and some other things I'm oh, working. Wow. And how much do you get paid per month? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm, I, I'm joking. That was a joke. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No, I'm not a developer. I'm in the in the HR part. Oh, so you get more. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I didn't know. You know what? Um, there there are a lot of companies here in 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 the country, which is good. Um. And, and delivering classes is where I met a lot of people working at different places, different areas. Yeah. And I was like, that's good because I didn't know such a company was here in the country. And um, so that's why sometimes I don't understand people when they say, oh, I can't find a job. But I mean, there are a lot of companies. It's just a matter of applying, sending hundreds and hundreds of resumes to everywhere. But yeah, yeah. that's good. Well, welcome. Um, welcome. Yeah. Um, uh, thank you for explaining that to me. Now we would like to know a little bit about you. Yeah. Well, um, Michelle Fariñas, working at Aplaudo. Uh, I have worked here like, I don't know, maybe a year and two months. And uh, my last job was at uh, Banco Central de Reserva. I worked there for 11 years. And it was really wow. great. I I met people. I met, well, banking was my life. But I I wanted to change. I wanted to move. I wanted to change myself in, in in another industry. Mm -hmm. I wanted to yeah to prove myself that I could also learn and that I could also I don't know like <laughs> be successful in my own terms, of course, uh, in somewhere else. That was a big and, change. Yeah. That's why I took a leap. It was <laughs> like a, a faith jump. And uh, yeah, I'm here. I'm happy. And m the most important thing is that I'm I can work from home from because home. I'm a mother of two kids. I have a, a 10 year old daughter and a two year old boy. Oh, wow. Yeah. And my <laughs> husband, my husband, he also works from here. He's not at a Plaudo. 
he's he's somewhere else but isn't that he, cool yeah yeah right? i yeah. really 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 I, yeah this is this is like part of of one of my my really one blessed. of my dreams because uh, when my daughter comes from from school well i can go and drop her uh, to school then she comes here and i am right here yeah back in I the think. time i was always I at the know, bank. At the bank. Can you imagine? Yeah. I mean, can you recall? I was at the bank. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and my husband is here. And whenever we have, I don't know, five minutes. Hey, can we have a cup of coffee? Yeah, great. And that's that's priceless. Yeah. So I'm happy to be here. And as I was saying in the in the beginning, happy to practice. Happy to. to Do you to get bored other... seeing your husband every day? <laughs> Another day, <laughs> no. every day home. No, no, no. Not at all. <laughs> yeah, Not at but all. but yeah. but um, but but what you were saying, I, I think that working from home is 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 the greatest experience ever. Uh, before I was, I shouldn't be the one speaking, but I, you know, sorry. Um, I I before the 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 quarantine. Um, I was born out. I was exhausted. I was already in my ages. I I was dying for a vacation because I was waking up like four in the morning and I was coming back from work at eight or eight thirty p.m. So I was my whole day out. So it was it was crazy. I couldn't. I didn't see the daylight in my home. It was crazy. So so then I think that's good having you know, uh, jobs like are from home. That's the best experience ever. Um, yeah. Thank God you guys are working for Aplaudo and you have the chance to work there and, and see your loved ones every day, see your kids, play with them. Um, so that's that's a great experience. Yeah, totally. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for being here and sharing. Call out someone. Yeah, I'm going to call out uh, Benjamin, Arita. <laughs> hey. Hi, guys. Hey. <laughs> hey. Um, so for my side, <clears throat> uh, my name is uh, Benjamin or Benjamin in English. Um, I'm three years old. Probably the same situation as Michelle. Uh, me and my wife, we are working from home. We have been here like... I don't know, almost four years now working from home. So, um, yeah, it's different, but at the end of the day, it, it has several benefits for you and for your family, right? You can spend more time with, with the kids. I, I'm, I have a one son uh, at almost 10 years old, a kid. Uh, he's nine years old and a half. Uh, and yeah, it's a totally different uh, environment, Absolutely. totally different situation when we are here and when and when I'm comparing it to the past, right? Uh, because in the past, we spend more time in the car because of the traffic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And now we, we, we can spend some time together right, with him, helping the helping him with the uh, homeworks and then all the off work from school. Right? What time do yeah. you get off from work? Uh, around six, probably. You, you, you just get out, get off work and then you're... I mean, you're there. You're home. <laughs> yeah, exactly. In the past, I don't have this. Nah, uh, in fine. the past, probably I spent around between three and four, five in the uh, hours in the car because of traffic. And gas. Exactly. Exactly. So yeah, we are working from home now. Um, by the way, I worked at Telos International as well. I spent a couple of years there. So, but I was in the digital solution account. So oh, okay. Was, in another in another different area, right? But but yeah, we are yeah. Telos International colleagues. <laughs> nice. Um I'm working here in Aplaudo since October last year, so probably around uh, six, seven months. So I don't know. Uh, How do you so like it? I, I'm the new. Oh, it's great. It's great. Um, besides the the fact of working from home, right, and, and those kind of benefits, uh the team, the environment. The people, uh, they are really great. They help you in everything, and they are always, always willing to, to give you a hand uh, if you yeah. need. So it is a, a great company. Nice. 
Nice. Well, I'm glad you like to work in this company. Um, I think there's, there's nothing best than loving your job, you know, loving what you do, loving the company. I think that's good. There's, there's always, you know, room for improvement at any company, but, um, but that's good. Thanks, Ben. Can you call someone else? Yeah, uh, let's go with Jorge. Cool. Hey, so, well, as you have seen on the screen, my name is Jorge Villegas. And I have been working for Applaudo for more than four years now. Um, I'm in the QA area and okay. the quality assurance area, testing area. Um, my entire career has been there. Um, and now I, I, I'm the and applaud with this role, helping uh, with the quality of the solutions. Um, yeah, it's a pleasure to, to, to be working here. Applaud. Nice. That's good, that's good. You marry, you got kids? No, I, I'm living alone. Actually, I moved uh, to, I, I bought a house. Uh, I moved like a month ago. So and and having this new experience for me, uh, living alone, right? Oh, <laughs> welcome to the jungle! Yeah, <laughs> I live. Um, well, I, I have a um a, a three and a half year old son. Um, but but we, you know, unfortunately, for my son, uh, we're 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 you know, you, you know, we split with my um with my ex wife. And I'm, I've been living alone for quite some time already, but but it's the great, you know, it's the greatest experience for me <laughs> living alone because it teaches you, it, you know, it teaches you a lot in life, you know, because when you're living with your parents and or with someone, and then you know, you know that there's always someone there to help you and do things for you. But then when you live alone, it's um, you you learned a lot of stuff like. Like how to take care of yourself, how to think differently. So, yeah, I absolutely, um, I moved out from my parents' house when I was 15. So uh, when I was 15, I, I moved out and I said, you know what, I want to leave something different. And then I was living that way until I got married when I was 30 something. But yeah, so you're gonna love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I'm loving it. <laughs> and also, well, in my spare time, I I do like play soccer, uh, watching movies, uh, playing video games, um, get drunk. Too. Nah, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to me to get drunk, right? I'm a big person. Uh, I am one point ninety one meter. What? <laughs> Yeah. 191. Yeah. Oh, it's man. Really tall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's hard to me to, to, to get drunk, right? <laughs> oh, wow. That's quite tall. And I was happy being 173. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't mess. Uh, yeah. Uh, that, that, <laughs> so let's try to let's try to stay away from George. <laughs> Be nice with him. Yeah. <laughs> Jorge, do you play basketball? I don't like play basketball. Oh, you should be a good player. I'm better at yeah. playing soccer and volleyball. Okay. But basketball is not my sport. <laughs> I think you will be a good player, though. <laughs> I was looking for a sticker, but I didn't find it here. Anyways. Okay. Well, welcome again as well, Jorge. And um, who else? Let's go with hey, Brian. Hey, Brian. Why don't you have your camera hey. on? <laughs> yeah, sorry. I, I just wake up, actually. So that's oh. why I don't have to turn on the camera. Maybe in another session, I will. But yeah. Okay. Uh, well, Brian. And I'm Brian Galdames. And I'm, of course, from Sambor. I work also for Applaudo for more than yeah for more than two years now uh since February 2021 uh 
I'm 21 years old, actually. So I don't have much to say for, for, for my side, for my point of view of my life. Uh, How do you like working not... for a plowder? What, sir? How do you like working for a plowder? How do you like it? I mean, I really like it. Uh, it's been... Actually, it's been a great job. It's my first job there. Uh, I've been in several projects. Uh, it's been such an adventure. <laughs> I mean, it's it, it, it was really, really different for me. I've been in a company. It's completely different than being in, in high school and on college. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been an adventure, but actually a good one. Uh, so yeah. Good, good, good. Uh, like That's cats, good. I have four cats. What? <laughs> you got <Yeah>. four? <laughs> yeah, I I got four cats. Uh, that's cool. Um, what are their names? Well, I mean, it's complicated. They have like multiple names. Each one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> for example, cat. Uh, which is called Manchitas. Uh huh. Because uh, you got so many different colors in her fur. So <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it, Manchitas was the best choice for her. I have another one, uh, which is called Octavio, uh, which is a cat, the, the only male cat that I have. <laughs> I don't know why it's called Octavio. Uh, that, that's friend. a good name, though. Yeah, I mean, it, it's not about my, my brother <laughs> uh, chose the name, the name. And I have also two cats, two, two female cats. Uh, one of them is Chispitas. The reason behind that name is that uh, when she was younger, she was really playful and she had a lot of energy. So, yeah, that's the, the main reason. <laughs> and the oldest uh, cat that I have is called Clarita. It's a white, white cat. So, that's why. Nice. Has that nice. Name. Okay, that's good. Glad you like your work and you got cats. Brian, welcome as well. Yeah. Oscar, thank you for turning your camera on. Do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, well, hi, everyone. My name is Oscar uh, Lisama. I've been working here at Aplauda for almost one year and a couple of months. And about me, I love developing things, like mobile things, but to be specific. Uh, I decided to study uh, these technology things uh, when I was in high school. And then I decided to continue studying it in college. And then I graduated from college uh, last year. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy. To How old are you? 25. 25? Yeah. Okay. You look younger. I yeah. thought you were like <laughs> 19 or something. <laughs> yeah, many people told me that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. Uh, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna let you talk more, uh, Oscar. Sorry, I do. I would love okay. to hear more, but I st we still have Hector and Ricardo. I think. Okay, great. Yeah, <laughs> but welcome again as well, Hector, Ricardo. You wanna go? Oh, you yeah. wanna continue? Uh, no, continue, Ricardo. No problem. Oh, okay. Hello, everybody. Morning, all. Hey. Um, where, um, I'm Ricardo Gomez. Um, I've been working for Plaudo for around two years. Well, in, I think in, in a three days, I will be celebrating anniversary in the Plaudo. Great for me, yeah. <laughs> I'm really prepared for the Father's Day celebration also in the Plaudo. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm a happy father, like you, yeah. teacher. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, so I, I have two little boys, Gabriel, um, 11 years old, and Miguel, 8 years old. I, I'm wow. really 
happy father. Uh, I spent a lot of time with them. When I, I got married, sorry, uh, just just uh, when I got married, I wanted to have a big family. I wanted to have like four kids. I said, "Well, I like it." And then when I get you know um, older and they and they get older as well, we're gonna play together. We're we're gonna do parties, not parties to get drunk, but parties like parties, yeah, right? Yeah. And and I, um, I with them. Yeah, but then um, then I only have one. Well, I had one like a couple of years back but um she passed away it was she was like two days old yeah. but uh then with my second kid uh i said no life is too expensive so i'm good with one right now <laughs> maybe later <laughs> i think it's a great experience when we start being father right or when we oh, yeah. married we have many plans for the future yes. right yeah. uh how many children i will spend time doing different things on internet about depending on how the life is going yeah. right okay um um yes now I'm, I'm happy to be here teacher i have a great expectative for this level of course because i i really want to improve my english yeah skills. that's good i'm not yeah, and um and 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 that's what i was going to mention as well take these sessions not as classes okay classes is me teaching you english Mm -hmm. um in this sessions we're not going to learn the english i mean yeah. we are but but not english per se because our yeah. main goal here is for you to it's more like have a conversation time and and yeah. also learn things related to work it's like training you know yeah. i'm going to train you how to do sessions uh, i mean how to do meetings how to communicate with your um clients or bosses or whoever you need to talk to uh, we're gonna learn different techniques on different stuff so do not take these classes as uh, okay we're gonna have an english class this is not an english class this is more this is beyond that yeah. english is gonna be like a um a side but our main goal is for us to work with your um communication skills communicative language okay yeah, yeah. so that's gonna that's what makes it interesting also that's right yeah. Okay. So welcome as well, Ricardo and Hector. You're the last but not least. Hello, Marine. And hey. my name is Hector Ramaya, and I live in Santa Ana. Oh, you are yeah. living here. That's good. Yeah. Um, I work in Aplaudo for a little more than two years, almost two years or a couple of months. And I have been married for almost two years. And <laughs> yeah. And I happily married. I don't... Sorry. Happily married. This is really good. It's a new experience for me, but it's it's a new challenge. I really like it. I love it. My wife. It's it's a challenge. Yeah. But it's good. It's good. I mean, it's it's always good. I'm not saying that being married is bad or being single is bad. I think it's our own choice in the end. Um, you know, I unfortunately my marriage did not work, but uh, but I know a lot of people, friends that who are married for a couple of years now, and they're happy, and and I'm glad for them. Yeah, so that's good. And I don't have children yet, but I hope this year it will is the year that start <laughs> that, that other new challenge is probably. I, it's my my dream is I really like uh, I need a, a baby girl in my life. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really, really. You're, you're gonna being a father. You're gonna well me. I'm talking about me personally. You're gonna love that. Um, I I yesterday I saw. Um, I I I try to see my son every day. Yesterday we went to a mall. And uh, sorry, I'm I'm taking your time. Continue talking. <laughs> no, no, no problem. That uh, other the old father's experiences are really life for me because yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, only that. I don't know to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. Um, I think being married. Um, and and then waiting a bit and then plan how your kid is, is, is a good practice and then it's always good right 
um, you if you do want to become a father, you're, you're gonna love it because the yeah, uh, Michelle can tell, um, Ricardo can tell. Yeah, that's good. We have one minute left. Um, I I do want to thank you for joining. And, and again, as I was um, mentioning a, a couple of seconds ago, um, I'm gonna try to make this this sessions um, not boring for you, because because uh, again, take these sessions more as training sessions, right? Because we're gonna be learning different stuff. Um, of course, we're gonna be going over some. You know, I mean, we are learning English as well in the end because we're practicing. Okay, you're talking, you're talking, you're practicing, and that's good. Um, but but most important, um, we're gonna show you different tips, techniques for different stuff. Um, and then you know, we hope this become interesting for you. And um, any any questions, whatever you guys want to ask, or feel free to you know, uh, shoot the messages in WhatsApp or here as well. Okay. Oh, uh, just one thing. Uh, I was uh, uh, seeking for the for the course here in the in the platform, but I'm I'm not signing yet. Um, what I'll do is that I'll send it over to the WhatsApp group, and uh, I'm gonna send you a, a very short video on how to find it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, thank you for joining, and I'll see you again tomorrow. See Ciao. you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. 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 See you. Bye.